All righty. So this webinar is really going to be a more of a soundbite type webinar that we're planning for with a 20 minute presentation and demo, and then some time for Q and A at the end. And really the format of these webinars is to engage more with our product users and our community around new features that we're releasing to drive conversations for people that are um, using carbon mark or wanting to learn more about carbon mark and gives them an opportunity to understand what's on our roadmap. So we're going to be exploring instant retirements with credit card. And this is a new feature that's just been released in the carbon mark platform that allows you to get a retirement certificate on behalf of your clients and trace that certificate all the way back to the registry and do it in, in a few clicks. So really for the agenda today, we're going to start off by looking at the issues that exist within the voluntary carbon market and specifically how carbon mark is shipping new features to sort of overcome a lot of these challenges. And we're going to show a retirement flow using the credit card within carbon mark as well to show you how easy it is to sign in, how easy it is to search for projects, and then this new functionality, which is retire a project with credit card. We're going to demo all of this, and we're also going to share some of the co-marketing benefits that we're offering early clients as well. And then when we have some more time, we'll go into a Q&A as well. And I'll give you a bit more of an understanding on what else we have coming up in the webinar pipeline as well. So to start with, the issues in the voluntary carbon market. So a lot of the things that we observe are that the carbon market is is very tedious to try and source projects. So there is a lack of transparency in terms of pricing and access. There's a slow settlement process. So you might want to buy some or retire some projects, but that might not happen instantly. It might be hard to verify whether the project that you've retired is actually from a particular registry and you know it can just be costly to access the market in the first place many of the places to buy carbon credits there's a gatekeeper and, and there's a cost to entry you might need to go through a lot of red tape and things like that so carbon mark has really been developed to make it far far easier to interface with the voluntary carbon market so our platform is free and you can access the market immediately so you can sign on with a Google account or any other form of popular single sign-on, and you can be inside the market in a couple of clicks. You can search projects immediately and verify them as well. So we have a verification tool that comes with the retirement certificate, and you can trace it to the origin registry. And the sort of user that we think will really appreciate the carbon mark with a credit card option is consultants, for instance, who are doing work with a client, they're needing to do a last mile solution for sourcing carbon, and they've got the emissions analysis, they know how much they want to offset, and they want to go and do that very simply, and maybe even brand the retirement certificate themselves, while still having all of the security and verification built into it. And they might also want to do kilograms of retirements instead of the tons which is the limit on a lot of the registries as a, as a minimum value. So some of these features I'm going to be demoing today, but I want to just highlight that we have hundreds of projects available at Carbon Mark, millions of tons to retire, and our market's available 24-7, and settlement occurs near instantly, which I'll also demonstrate today as well. So the new feature that we've shipped this week is Retire with Credit Cards. So for many of those familiar with the platform, and our project, we have come from a Web3 background, which has meant that to access the infrastructure that we have, you know, you've typically needed to be a more advanced power user. This feature we're really excited about because it means that anybody with a credit card can access the environmental benefits within Carbon Mark. Another thing I want to mention that I'll be taking you through in the platform today is fully customizable retirement certificates. So when you do a retirement in the Carbon Mark, platform will provide you with a proof of carbon retirement. So this is a certificate that has a lot of information on it, the tonnage that you have retired and information about the project as well. So the project name and then more information where you can look through the official 
registry documentation that went with the project as it went through its verification process. You can learn more about the project's methodology that it's used, the specific project ID itself, and you know other information such as the country of origin and the vintage being the, the year that the environmental benefit was realized. And then we also have security information such as transaction IDs, which in combination with some verification tools, you can trace back to the origin registry. You can also name a beneficiary. We recommend a company because everything that gets published through the platform lives in the public domain. And you can also write a retirement message. So there's a number of different ways that you can leverage the retirement message to make the certificate more personalized, whether it be for you know, specific actions within a business that you're wanting to offset, whether you're wanting to tie it to a particular element of the production cycle, or if you just want to provide more information about maybe the year or the what's being covered in that offset, for instance. There's also the ability to customize this retirement certificate, so to add your own branding onto it, to make it your own. So if you are a consultant or somebody who is advising a client, you can come onto CarbonMark and really quickly access project by filtering, do the retirement with credit card, real-time pricing, real-time settlement, and get all of that information as well. This is just an example of some of the verification tools that we have. So with the retirement transaction that you have here, the transaction ID, we can link that into the underlying carbon accounting system we have and link that all the way to the origin registry as well. So you can be sure that the transaction's traceable, you can be sure that it's authentic, and you can ensure that there is no double spending, that there's integrity in, in the environmental benefit that you're claiming. So with that, it's time to give a bit of a demo of you know, zero to wow in terms of being a user, wanting to use CarbonMark and coming to carbonmark.com. You don't have an account and you want to access project and you want to retire it. You want to access and store a retirement certificate and provide that for your client or have it as a record for your own business. So I'm going to go into demo mode here. So this is obviously carbonmark.com. This is our landing page. There's more information on here, but we're going to jump straight into browsing the projects here. And you're going to be able to see here that there's a login. When you click that login modal, you'll be able to sign in with these familiar social logins here. I'm just going to go over into my account here that's already signed in. I have a profile set up for me here. Let's go over to the marketplace. Here in the filters, you can filter by country. So this is the country in which the project has occurred in. You also have the category, whether you want to pick a renewable energy project, an industrial processing project, forestry, energy efficiency, a number of them. And then vintage, obviously the year in which the economic benefits from the project was realized. So for instance, I might search here and say red plus, which is a type of forestry project. So I might see the Jai Red Plus project here, $1.86 a ton. And then I can see a bit of information here about the project. There's a description. If I select view registry details, it will take us over to information that is associated with the registry here that you can look through. And if I want to then retire a number of tons, from this project, I can click retire now. And here, so I might just want to retire one ton here. Beneficiary name, let's say that there's a, an imaginary organization called uh, Webinar Demo LLC. Let's just say that's the company that we're offsetting. And then the retirement message is, you know, this is a test for the webinar. But this could be any information, you know, it could be a, a tracking number. It could be, you know, the financial year of a business. You could put anything in here as a retirement message. And it's important to know as well, not to put sensitive personal information. I just need to stress that again, because everything that gets published here goes into the public domain and is irrevocable. So it gives our system so much integrity. So be very careful in terms of what you're placing into these. Make sure that there's no personal identifiable information. 
Then we just go through here and we click retire carbon here. I'm just going to click continue. And this takes us to a Stripe page. And obviously um, I can put in my credit card information here and then select pay. I'm not going to, for obvious reasons, put in a credit card number on a live uh, webinar, but let's say I go through and do that and then I select pay. What we'll then see is this here. So there'll be a bit of loading. It will show a transaction complete page and this acts as an invoice as well. So you can print this page for your purposes and you'll obviously be able to match this with the credit card payment in your own bookkeeping system. And we use an organization called Offsetra LLC as our payment provider. And then if I go and click on the proof of retirement page here, you can then see the beneficiary here that I've put in, webinar demo LLC. One ton, we've got the project information here. We can go and learn more about the registry information around the verification at the registry. And we've got a bit of a description page here. We've also got some of the technical information that we mentioned. Here's the project ID, so the forestry type, methodology used, the region and, and the vintage. And we can also download a PDF as well. So if, if we want this in a PDF form to send somebody, we can do that. And all of this is stored in your carbon mark account. So you can log back in and access it at, at any time. So that's how quickly it is to use our system. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, really, you know, and I'd encourage you to jump into carbonmark.com and set an account up. It's a single sign on. You saw how easy it is to log in, how easy it is to search for projects and then access information related to, you know, the verification process and methodology it's gone through the associated information around that, how easy it is to go in and, and retire with just a few clicks, like a checkout experience, and how immediately you get your retirement certificate for your client, for your business. So this is a new feature that's available now. And yeah, I'd encourage you to check it out. And, you know, certainly let me know if you have any questions. I'll, I'll be providing a follow-up email to this webinar. I'll also be providing some links on subsequent slides to contact me and get in touch if you need any help or want to chat. So something that we do as well is we've got a fantastic creative and marketing team. So for organizations that are leaning into our digital carbon market and, you know, maybe they're a, a small business or a consultant that's working with clients and wants a bit of uplift on their messaging, we have dedicated co-marketing as well. So as we bring these new features to market, we want to make sure that we're supporting our early user base as well. So this is an example of a case study that we did with Rios Global. So they are a um, shipping and logistics company that are offsetting their business emissions using the Carbon Mark platform directly. They've had some emissions data calculated and they're uh, using our platform and their retirements for that. We can support your business or your consultancy with dedicated co-marketing support. We have an audience of 100,000 strong. We have great reach. So this is definitely something that we are providing at the moment in kind for early adopters of our platform. So would really encourage you if you are using the platform, if you're planning to, and you're wanting to get in touch with us around this, these types of initiatives, please reach out, let us know, and we can support you. We've, we've done it many times with many other organizations and something we're really excited to showcase to help develop market awareness with what we're doing. So in terms of contacting the team around this, I've just dropped a Calendly link here. So that's calendly.com forward slash carbon mark forward slash appointment. I'll be sending all of the show notes through in, an, in a follow-up email. But if you're wanting to just do this now while it's top of mind, I would encourage you to just head over to that URL and book an appointment. Or if you have any questions, feel free to email me at liam at carbonmark.com. Please don't be a stranger. Reach out. We'd love to connect with you and get your feedback as well. So next webinar that we have is on the 1st of August. So we're going to be showing off some of the SAP integrations that are now working with the carbon mark infrastructure. So there's some really interesting things with corporate travel platforms. So for flights, we've got some really interesting solutions there. We also have some solutions on the supply chain management front as well within the SAP ecosystem. So some really interesting things coming out more larger organizational use cases for us to integrate in with their operational data as well. So some really interesting things in the pipeline there as well. 
So with that, I guess we'll see you at the next webinar. Thanks for joining everyone.